Hey, women of God, we are here live in Detroit at Focus Hope, and we are actually talking about, um, we're at this event, Dr. Eddie Connor was a keynote speaker, and it was an event sponsored by Boys Hope, Girls Hope, and he did an awesome job speaking, and so I just grabbed him, I said, come on, let's do a video, let's go live in the group. So we're gonna, um, we're going live now, so go ahead and log on, and hey, how y'all doing? Let me see, okay, it's uploaded, okay. All right, I like that. I like that. He got a new book out. I like the um, the case here. You can see it. It's standing upright. So we're going to talk about, now you guys know, I have an event coming up on Valentine's Day, celebrating God's love and self-love, single step out on Valentine's Day. But we're going to just talk about with Dr. Eddie Connor, his perspectives on love, dating, and relationships as it pertains to keeping God first in relationships and what it means to him as as a man of God, and also uh, we're also going to talk about his book 2020 Vision as well. Do you touch on um, the relationship piece at all in the book? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got I got Vision it. is um, not just linear; it's panoramic, and so okay. I think it touches every core aspect of your life. You know, from your faith to uh, your job to taking your job to your dream and your dream and your purpose, and, and then also your relationships how those intersect. And would you say everything is all correlated where it all should kind of flow and all should kind of, I mean, I believe when I think about purpose and knowing who you are in Christ and vision and also relationships, I feel like it's all, you want it to all be connected. And when it's all connected and congruent, that's where you have peace in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. And for me, sometimes if I feel like something is, off kilter even a little bit like if one part's good and one part's i just feel a little out of balance a little bit so um how do you stay focused when you feel that way like how can you get back on track mm -hmm. well i think you have to uh, remember uh the promise that god has for your life you know that he will perfect the things that concern you and mm -hmm. so uh, he's not the author of confusion if something is is, is a place of chaos and confusion especially in relationships mm -hmm. that's not it Okay, so it's like a key. If they're not the one, if they're the source of chaos and confusion chaos in your and life. Confusion, absolutely. And okay. I, I was telling somebody the other day. I said, you know what? Uh, uh, really, if 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 your absence brings you peace, um, I didn't lose you. You lost me. Mm. <laughs> uh, because uh, because walking by faith and not by sight, faith gives me insight. Mm -hmm. Faith is the power of vision. You mm -hmm. know, and and the fact of the matter is. Um, the, the whole aspect of vision now also gives me focus. It gives me discernment, like I was saying before. Yes. You know, me wearing glasses, uh, whether I whether I wear my glasses or not, I, I, I have sight. Mm -hmm. I can see the game, but I can't see the score. Okay. Wearing my glasses gives me focus to where I can see the inter intimate, in intricate details. Okay. Wearing my glasses gives me focus, but focus now enhances my vision. Okay. And so this is the year, yes, of vision, but it'll be predicated based on focus. Focus also is a direct uh, indicator for discernment. Okay. I've got to have discernment to make the right choice, uh, to see beyond just the physical, to see beyond mm -hmm. just 36, 24, 36 curves like the letter S, to see beyond mm -hmm. somebody who's tall, dark, and handsome, or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Uh, you got to be able to know to say, yes, you may be fine, mm -hmm. but God told me you ain't mine. Mm. That's deep right there. Now, I want to go back. I want to go back because we said a lot. We talked about vision, 2020 vision. This is the year, 2020. And we have, we've heard it from a lot of preachers. This is 2020 vision. But then you talked about first having that focus. Right. Let's go to focus. How in the world can a single person, and of course in this group it's mainly single women, it's all single women, mm -hmm. stay focused when your flesh has its own desires and its own agenda and you may have vision and purpose and you have all the stuff that God has downloaded in you but then you also have needs and wants and desires and then the enemy knows so he sends you what you desire so now you have to ward that off because you got temptation in there so how can you stay focused with all that going on? Mm -hmm. 
Um, you know, the whole aspect of temptation, you know, uh, nobody's tempted beyond what their own desire is. Mm -hmm. And uh, temptation is based on two things, desire and enticement. Mm. You can't expect me to, to, to take a suit I don't want. Okay. That's <laughs> so, true. So once I'm able to uh, check myself, like you say, check, check yourself before you wreck, you wreck yourself. yourself. <laughs> right? So I got to know what it is that I know that is my desire, but I also have to know as, as well, in many cases, what it is that that dangling carrot is that brings on that level of enticement. Okay. Based upon that, you got to raise your level of standards. You got to really mm. raise your level of uh, boundaries. That's good. Yeah, you got to have those personal boundaries to yes. where you don't want your flesh to keep you from where your spirit wants to take you. Ooh. <laughs> That's a word. That's a word, y'all. Did y'all hear that? Ella, Ella, Kim yeah, Benjamin yeah. Hayes. Did y'all yeah. hear that? No, the book don't need to be flipped. It's just uh, the fact that this camera's flipped. Oh, <laughs> hey, Vicky. <Biggie. laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's, yeah. yeah. I wonder if you think you might be. What if we? No, it, it wasn't. It can't be flipped. It's the camera. That's, yeah. <laughs> it's 2020 vision. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes things have to look backwards so you can move forward. Ooh, that's a, <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a word. Look, that's a word. <laughs> sometimes no. things literally uh, have to look flipped when they're really in the right direction. Mm. But, um, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. And you so. know what? That That is a word because sometimes when we're going in the direction of being focused and vision, mm. I was sharing with the, the ladies on the Friday morning uh, prayer line that sometimes, even for 2020, I don't know if you, any of you guys have experienced challenges so far. I have personally where it's like, man, I thought this was, but the Lord was telling me before you get to the, the sun or before you get to the rainbow, you have to go through the storm. Yeah, yeah. And that's a part, even with vision, and I love this cover. You have the eye, and it's like blue, and it's like you... When you say walk by faith and not by sight, that means you're going through a storm first because you have to go through somewhere where you can't see. Mm -hmm. And it may look like it's attacks here and there, but then God has something on the other side. And yeah, then right. in that place of craziness, you got temptation, you got distractions, you got, you know, the flesh. But like you said, be led by the spirit and then you can overcome and get to that place where God wants yeah. you to get to. Right, right. The tempting is really testing for the next level. Mm. Because um, a lot of times you, what, you're, what you're battling right now is really a vehicle to take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. But I have to, listen, I, I remember when I play uh, PlayStation back in the day, or mm -hmm. even if you go all the way back, you play Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get to the next <laughs> level. Frogger. Right, right, right. Uh, you couldn't get to the next level till you beat the level you were on. That's true. That is so true. <laughs> and, and you continue to be tested on the level of where you are mm -hmm. until you crack the code mm -hmm. and begin to subjugate whatever it is in your mm -hmm. life that has victory word. over your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got to beat the level that I'm on right now. Yeah. Listen, the, you, the reason you ain't facing, you face the same devils, because you, you haven't gotten to a different level. Oh! We always say new level, new devil, but in many cases, it's same devil, same level. Wow. Because we have not conquered that which has become a stumbling block in our life. Mm. And so there, there's no breakthrough if I don't break free from mm. what's breaking me down. It reminds me of the scripture when it says, a small fox will spoil the vine. It's like if you're going through, and a lot of you guys may be going through the same, it seems like the same trial, same temptation over and over again. And I love how you broke it down, Dr. Eddie, and basically said that's just the same test that you haven't passed yet. Um, it reminds me also of the scripture, there is therefore now no condemnation to them that walk in the, in the spirit and not the flesh. Because a lot of times when we continue to fail a test, over and over, make the same mistake, give in to the same temptation. Tyrone calling, he's texting <laughs> late at night, he want to come over, and you let him come over again. He'd be like, oh, Lord, why? And you're, doing the, you're facing the same struggle, the same, same demon, and it's because God wants, he wants you to pass. But you have to pass the test so he can take you to the next level and where you're supposed to be in Christ. So I, li I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it will remain a soul tie if you continue to stay in the knot. Ooh, 
Did y'all hear that? <laughs> now, we talk about soul ties a lot. Yeah. It will remain a soul tie if you continue to stay in a knot. You got, to, you got to loose it so you can be loose from it. That's good. You got to loose it so you can be loose from it. Now, how do you loose it? Well, whatever we bind on earth is bound ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so you, you bind it with your words? You, you, bind, you bind it in many cases even with your actions because everything, mm. everything is not just the devil. Sometimes it's you. Yes, you you're know, right. Uh, we would have flipped Wilson back in the day. Said he said the devil made him do it. Mm -hmm. But how can you break a soul tie if you keep texting? Oh, you, you you can't break a soul tie if you keep talking on the phone to the soul tie. To the soul tie. Oh no, you talking on the phone. If you keep stalking a soul ties page, oh, <laughs> you're never gonna flip the page and write into another chapter. Kind of all our mail. If he reading <laughs> your if he reading your mail, and say oh me. It's tight, but it's gonna be all right. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. But thank you so much. This was a great event, and we are wrapping up. Okay. I appreciate you. All right. That was a word. So we have to run, you guys. But I pray you got we were blessed. Eddie, Dr. Eddie, tell them how they can get a copy of your book, and we're gonna wrap up. Listen, she's the guru of the game, none other than the uh, the queen of all things, Miss um, Kim Brooks, Kim the Gym. Praise God. So I can't wait for you all to join us. Listen, I need you to tell a friend to tell a friend, tell a sister to tell another sister, tell a queen to tell a queen, bring a queen. Yes. Next Friday for the incredible uh, Valentine's Day explosion extravaganza. Listen, they talking about it all over the city. Mm. You, you might as well come to that, which is going to be Liddy. So <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might as well stop playing and, and, and put, get your head nail, nail done, hair done, everything did, and you fancy, huh? Come with your hair whipped, dip, fried, dyed, oh, laid Lord. to the side. Listen, get, listen. your man might be in the building. All right, right now. Don't, don't, get, listen, God ain't finna send the man to break into your house. You got to get up out the house. Come on. <laughs> and you got to come with a table spread, the feast of the Lord come, going on, and uh, position yourself yep. uh, for and, a purpose mate. Yep. And so um, the book, you can get it right now, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iTunes, Audible, available as a hard copy you see here, available as an e-book as well, four and a half hours of power as an audio book. Awesome. Um, EddieConnor.com as yep. well if you want to get a signed copy. Eddie Connor, C O N N O R. Put some respect com. on my name. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And thank you guys for tuning in. Amen. Yes. Thank you for your point. Yes, Vicky says thank you for your pointers. Yeah, it was awesome and anointed. So that's just a taste of Dr. Eddie Connor to come here more. Definitely come this Friday if you're in the metro Detroit area. And you can get tickets at www.singlestepout.eventbrite.com. 15 in advance, 20 at the door. We're going to have saxophonist performance with Yancey. We're going to have ballroom dancing and lessons. We're going to have life refreshments. We're going to have Dr. Eddie Connor and another author, Felicia Christian. And we're just going to have a great time, y'all, stepping out on Valentine's Day. So thanks for listening, and I pray you guys are blessed, and you have a blessed night. All right, love you guys, Absolutely. and I'll see you inside the booth. Worst place you can stay is in the boat. Step out and join us. Yes, level up 2020. <laughs> it is. Hey.